Here we go. What's going on, Excel Fanatics? Vertex is here. You like the new intro? Good. Today's video is going to be focusing on some ifs. Uh, now, in the past, I've gone over count ifs. Uh, make sure you check out that link above. Uh, but we're going to be using some ifs to combine and condense data. Uh, we're going to be looking at this data set right here that I created. And we're going to summarize the commissions paid out by month on the next tab here. Now, as a reminder, when it comes to an if function, a general one, it's usually setting um, a specific set of rules, right? So if you're going, if it's this, then make it answer A. If it's not, then make it answer B. So where you are determining those rules. Same thing here with some ifs, but the sum part saves us a step and it tells us that the, it tells the function to add numbers within the set of rules. And you'll see what I mean by that in a minute. So if the rules, if it, there's, we'll list out the criteria for, for the function, only add in these situations. And if all the criteria isn't met, then it won't add or we'll find an error. When it comes to the data here, as I just mentioned, we're going to condense the commissions paid out by month. The obvious answer here is make a pivot table. Well, that's not the exercise. So here's what we'll do. Over on the commission summary, we're going to go ahead and see how we have January through December here, and then a total column for the commissions. So what we're going to do is we're going to use, I know there's a sum if, and then a sum ifs with an S. When you're using count ifs, ifs or sum ifs, I recommend learning ifs. And the reason why is if you ever need, the, the two formulas have the same function, but the ifs add more criteria. However, they kind of flip a few things around when you're entering criteria, so it can get a little confusing. Um, I'll put some more reading in the description below. But essentially what I do recommend is learning some ifs and using some ifs. Same thing with count ifs. All right, so let's get started. Equals sum ifs. And now the sum range you see here, criteria range 1, criteria 1. You'll see this is kind of similar to what we did with the count ifs. Um, so, but with the sum if we're going to look start with the sum range, right? So I said I wanted to add up the commission summary. So here's our commission payout. I'm just going to highlight this entire row, right? Because this is what we want added and condensed. I'm sorry, this entire column. I'm going to hit F4 because I don't want it going anywhere. Comma. Criteria range 1. Okay, so then add everything in column G based on what criteria, right? So I wanted to do it by month. So the range here needs to be in this section. And then criteria one will actually, will be jumping back to here. So here's one thing we need to do, what you probably noticed. The criteria range, we don't have a matching range here. So January, it says January on this part. I'm gonna hit escape and I'm gonna delete the formula. But you see that there's no month here. So in a situation like this, you need to kind of get creative. You need to find an anchor. So what you can do here, you can actually insert a column. Let's call it month. And let's do let's change the format of this, right? So let's do text month one, two, three, four. and then just drag that all the way down and then it'll fill out for all those dates it'll become month and now let's try it again so equals some ifs back to the range so we're adding up commission f4 to lock that down comma criteria range we made our criteria range now so we're going to highlight that f4 keep that locked comma now the criteria one, we're gonna go back to the commission summary and we're doing just January. So now everything we just spelt out, we're gonna add everything up in the commission column. The criteria range is going to match the criteria one here, right? So everything in the range that we highlighted, it will match to criteria one. So in this case, we make criteria, criteria one January. So it'll match, it'll add up all the commissions that are containing January. So we'll close the parentheses, 237, 
And we can actually go and just double check that real quick. So let's go back to commission payout. So these three are just that, two, three, 237. So we did good. So we can drag this all the way down, double clicking the corner. Nothing in February, nothing in July. So I think we're in a good shape there, right? So that's for the commission summary. So now what if we wanted to break it out by each of the sellers? So we want to add it in January, but I also want to know specifically how much Jamie made in January. So let's do it again, right? Still do a stick with the sum ifs. Equals sum ifs. Again, sum range, we're sticking with the same sum range of the commission. So we'll highlight the whole column. Criteria range one. We're going to highlight the months again. So now there's a lot of back and forth here because we all have to go back for criteria one. But what I want to do, since I don't want to go back and forth too much, I'm just going to hit the comma twice and save the spot. So notice there's two here. I didn't fill it in yet, but I just got to remember, and I, gotta, I just got to remember what that was. And I got to remember to fill it up when I go back to this tab. So here in criteria two is the salesperson, right? Because we want to know in what month and by what salesperson to that person making commission. So that's criteria range two, comma. So now we're back to just filling in the criterias. So I'm going to just close this for a second, the parentheses, hit enter, and go back here, right? So the thing is, it's not complete. So of course, it's going to come out empty, or zero, I should say. So criteria one, if you remember, that was the month. So put that there. And criteria two was the salesperson name. So the thing is here, what you need to be careful is, what I'm going to do is click at the top. But I got to make sure I hit F4 because I don't want that going anywhere. Because unlike here, because I didn't do it here because I want, when I drag down, I want it to update for each month. So, but I don't want to do it for the top. Not yet, at least. So that's 45. If I click all the way down, that fills that all the way to the bottom. Oh, wait, that's total. Shouldn't be there. That'll add up. So now if we try the same thing with Derek, we can just copy. So here's where you need to be careful too when you go to the right, right? I'm just going to copy this, paste, but notice how everything updated, right? So Jamie didn't move, so I can actually drag that over. But there's notice how it's trying to find, it's not going to find 45. I need to make sure it sticks with January. So I'll hit enter. So I'll just do that again, copy, crystal, right? So you see the F4, even though it's staying locked, I can manually change that. See, all the way over to Bishop and that. Okay, so if we do sum and just add up January to check our work, 237 is what we have for January, so we know we're doing it right. So we can bring the rest of these down delete this bottom part because it went a little too far. And if I go check out the sum, going straight up, $115 for the year. And this going this way is for the month. Cool, so that sets the two criteria for some ifs. So what if I wanted to add a third criteria? What if I wanted to make sure I'm only adding up the commissions for couches? Because if you go back to the commission payout, I have an item here for, for couches. Do that. And let's do the sum ifs again, right? So sum ifs, just the commission. Lock that in. Criteria range one. Let's leave that as month like we've been doing. F4, comma. Let's leave criteria alone for now, but let's just remember criteria range one is month. Criteria range two, salesperson, like we had before, comma. Criteria range three, item of sale. And then we'll just close the parentheses for now, and we'll see a zero value. So what we're going to do, so part one, right? So you have this kind of, you click in, and it tells you where to go. Criteria one is month. 
three to two is the salesperson. And criteria three is going to be couch. So I know how we did this before. Let's start from the top here. So I didn't lock in the top, so I don't have to worry about shifting D, E, and F. But I do need to make sure that the month stays in place. There we go. And let's see, what is, so right now it's all at zeros, right? So the only person who sold the couch in January was Jamie. And that looks correct for the 45. So now we can drag everything down. And we got some zeros here. So what's going on here? So that was just for Jan. Oh, see, this is what went wrong. So here is where we actually need to start locking in the names, right? Because it's going down as it's, as this is why I locked it in the first place last time. But as I go down each one, it's coming down with me. So it's starting to fill in the number instead of keeping the salesperson. So let's go in and lock this. Let's do that for each one. Okay, let's try that again. There we go. And voila. And there you have it, everyone. You have learned some sum ifs. Definitely go ahead and give that a practice on your own. Thank you so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed this video. Hope you enjoyed that intro. It's hard work. See you in the next video.